Hello, Ivy Via students. All right, today, today we're continuing with 11.2, and we're going to be looking at the structure of the sarcomere. So um, if we pay attention here at the essential understanding, it says that each myofibril is made up of contractile sarcomeres. So if you remember from the previous uh, video, we looked at the myofibril structure right here, and we saw how uh, the myofibril structure was made up of contractile units, right, right here, called uh, the sarcomere. So we're going to be focusing on this uh, unit right here, which contracts and which allows your muscles to contract and therefore movement to happen. So um, let's go back here to the sarcomeres and let's look at some of the structure here. Let me move it up right here. All right, so first thing you need to know is that um, the sarcomeres are made up of two protein myofilaments. So these are proteins and you're going to see that they have different names. So we have a thick filament known as myosin and then we have a thin filament known as actin. So these are the two protein myofilaments that you're responsible for um, recognizing, drawing, and understanding how they work. So if you look at the myosin, or the thick filament, notice how it's drawn thicker. And also no notice how it has these small protruding heads. So these little small protruding heads right there. Now it is because it has these heads that it is able to bind to regions of actin, which is the thin filament. And notice how it's much thinner, right? than myosin, which is that thick filament, okay? So what happens? These two filaments, they are going to move past each other or relative to each other, and this is what's going to cause the lengthening and the shortening of the sarcomere as it contracts and as it expands. All right, in addition, each sarcomere is flanked, that means on the sides, by these dense protein discs called Z-lines. So these black um, lines here um, in, the form, in the form of a Z are these proteins called Z-discs. And they're there to help anchor that central myosin filament. So um, a little bit more information here. This yellow little curvy protein is called Titan and they don't give you that information here, but titan is what helps anchor myosin, which is a thick filament, to these protein discs called the Z discs, right? And then these Z discs then bind to the thin filament of, um, of actin. So everything is held together, okay? All right, now um, the recurring sarcomere produce a striated or striped pattern along the length of the skeletal muscle fiber. So this is why if you look at skeletal muscle under the microscope, it looks um, striped, okay, it looks like this. And it's because of the pattern here of the myosin and the actin. All right, now if you were to look at the sarcomere under the microscope, um, this is what you would see. The center of the sarcomere appears darker due to the overlap, as you see here, of the actin and the myosin. And this is what we call, all of this overlap here of the actin and myosin, we call the A-band. The peripheries of the sarcomere appear lighter and that's because only actin is present right here on the peripheries. And we call that region the I-band region. And then when the sarcomere is not contracted, there is a region within the A-band called the H-zone. And this is kind of like the lighter central region within the A-band. Because if you think about it, when this uh, muscle is relaxed and not contracted, 
then you're only going to find myosin in this central region, which we call the H zone. Okay? So let's move further down. So you are asked to draw um, label diagrams of the structure of the sarcomere. So you would draw something like this. Okay, this is a label diagram. The Z disc on the sides, right, flanking it. The myosin, the thick filament in the middle with the protruding heads. The actin, the thin filament on the sides. And then um, you should also draw a diagram that shows what this muscle will look like under the microscope. So the I band, which are the lighter regions of the thin filament on the sides. The A band, which contains both the actin and the myosin as they slide past each other. And then within the A band, the H zone, when only the myosin um, appears when the muscle is not contracted. Okay, so that is it for today, and that is the structure of the sarcomere.